Hello there, it's uh, C.J. Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana, back from my afternoon in Bossier across the Red River. And uh, yeah, so, well, this is the movie that I went to see. I went to see Flash. It opened locally today, and I went to the very first showing. I had to uh, because there were so many spoilers out there already about this movie that if I had waited, it really would have been spoiled for me. I would have not been able to resist reading the reviews. Uh, I can tell you that um, this is probably the best um, DCEU movie, DC Expanded Universe movie, uh, as this particular leg of the DC franchise is being called, uh, since... um, Basically, uh, Jack Snyder, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, uh, when when HBO Max uh, premiered uh, as a uh, streaming network uh, in that particular branding, uh, and yeah, it was worth every bit. Uh, the rating is top notch. I did not see it in IMAX. Um, but we kind of sat a little close to the screen, like, you know, so you sit closer to the screen and it's, it's almost like watching it in IMAX. So it really fills your, your vision and your peripheral and everything. So it was great. Um, had it been available in 3d, I would have sprung for the 3d. So I'm going to give this a, a 3d rating. This is a movie I would have seen in 3d, uh, you know, with all the bells and whistles, I would have went all out with it. And let me tell you, um, without spoiling it, everything that you think this movie is, it is, and then and then some. And, um, well, let's see. Um, what can I say about this movie? I hope nothing... Let's see what's going to come. I'm going to do any more. Yeah. I'll let them. I'll let them break it down or something while I talk. They can talk. <laughs> We're gonna get a commercial here. <laughs> okay, so um, this this movie. Um, I'm not really gonna do spoilers in this. Um, it takes a twist at the end that I did not expect. You know, it it it's it's very okay. Things that you think are gonna happen, they happen. Uh, it you know. It, the, the scenario that's set up is it's there's no big surprise. There's no big surprise to the scenario. Why is he not on mute? He should shut up. There he goes. So um, that may maybe his video. He may have put it together, but I'm, I'm talking. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, everything uh, everything is set up uh, that we know about this movie in the trailers and everything like that. The setup. That's really just the framework. This is a a, a, a multiverse movie, and as far as as far as I know, in comic book history, DC Comics they were the ones that really brought it to the forefront. I don't know if they're the first ones who have done it, because uh, comics have talked about multiple uh, multiple universes and multiple dimensions for a long time. Uh, even back in the seventies with the old, uh, super friends cartoons, you know, Hey, I'm hiding, uh, behind this, uh, alternate universe kind of thing when they're in space or whatever. But in 1985, uh, the DC brought out crisis on infinite earths. And that was the first one. Now this, um, um, well that, that particular narrative talked about a certain way that, that the various universes could, uh, Collapse and, and uh, collapsing on each other, and uh, uh, there were there were ways that they could get into each other's universes, uh, the various universes as they kind of merged. Because what was happening there was that antimatter uh, was uh, closing in and taking away uh, matter. It was overcoming. Uh, what was matter. So, uh, by, by, by merging it in on itself, you know, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, 
more or less, you know. Uh, I, I don't think it started out that way. I think antimatter just started eating away at the different uh, universes. And then um, towards the end of the uh, crisis, when they got rid of the anti-monitor, uh, uh, there was uh, there was a uh, an unexpected result where the last three or four uh, universes merged m- merged into one because this was a, a DC house cleaning. So it was the one that introduced me to the idea in comic books of mul- multiple universes existing uh, to explain the various narratives that have taken place with different writers uh, having their way with, with these uh, various inter- intellectual properties. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, just say, go see this movie. Uh, you're going to get so many, uh, appearances and cameos and, uh, just, uh, even nods to, uh, uh, DC property because this is a different, this is a time travel, uh, multiverse, you know, where, uh, you know, we we know this is Flashpoint. Flash goes back in time, uh, and uh, and the result is, uh, uh, you know, a, an alternate uh, universe, and then some. Because oh my lord, and then so yeah, go see this movie. Okay. With that being said, uh, if I keep talking, I'm going to spoil it, and I don't want to. Um, there's going to be a lot to love about it and there's going to be a lot that's going to, you know, piss people off about it, you know? Um, but one of the things is we know that, um, this is, um, third to the last in the DC expanded universe, uh, franchise. We have, a uh, blue beetle coming out. Uh, and then we have, the next Aquaman movie coming out. And then after that, we will be doing, um, um, uh, what James Gunn and, and, and company, uh, are doing with, uh, the DC studio, which is, it's now its own individual studio. It's a division of Warner brothers, but it's its own studio. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, they're, they're really giving it their all. And, uh, yeah, it's a um, it's a two chapter uh, story. In the first chapter, gods and monsters. We're going to start that out with the Superman legacy, which promises, by the way, to have a new aesthetic. Uh, and I have great hopes for all that. But knowing that that's coming meant that I could look at this movie uh, it, as as you know coming to a finality with this particular, uh, story, you know, which, uh, yeah, uh, it's interesting. It's, it's really good. It's, re- it's a really good movie. There's a lot to rave about, you know? Um, so yeah, go check it out. Go see the flash. Okay. I love you guys. Peace. Love and light. Good night.